Today we're talking about rear wings. Here are four rear wings from Axis that will be paired with the Crazy Short Fuselage and the Axis 1150, which is one of the largest area high aspect ratio wings on the market. We're going to see how each of these wings pair with the Axis 1150 and how that foil setup performs in different carving tests. The 340 is the smallest rear wing from Axis. It carves really tightly and takes little effort to shift from left to right. One of the things that jumped out at me during this test was just how hard it was to accelerate the 340 going forward. I'm trying to carve a little bit while I'm pumping, but you can see I'm working really hard to move it forward. The 370 is very similarly shaped as the 340. The two carved quite similarly, but the 370 felt a lot better pumping. The 390 is a lot of fun, but you really have to think about what you're doing. As you start to roll the wing right or left, it wants to keep rolling. It's naturally unstable, but it did enable some amazingly tight carving with some great lift through the carve. I always thought the rear wing was there just to stabilize the front wing lifting, but one of my discoveries was that the rear wing can really help you accelerate. The bigger, the more high aspect ratio wing, the more push you have. And that's what made the 460 a lot of fun. You can see it here carving. It took a little bit more energy to roll from toe edge to heel edge, but still a lot of fun and super easy to use. Even though the front wing was large and dominating, the rear wings did make a difference. My least favorite was the 390. It was quite unstable for carving, but amazing at tight gliding turns like the 360 I showed earlier. The third favorite was the 340. Super fluid, but very hard to accelerate while pumping. My second favorite was the 370. Almost as fluid as the 340, but far superior at pumping. I felt like I could push off the rear and accelerate. And far and away my favorite was the 460. This is a great rear wing. Fluid enough at carving, you know, it did take more effort to roll from heel edge to toe edge, but really nice for accelerating during the pump. <laughs> 